guys and welcome to this little tips and tricks video. In this video I'm going to show you how to use the Pep and Stretch Docker in Corn Photo Paint. I'm going to collapse it for a while. In front of you you see a uh, what we can see as a final product. If you're a print shop owner you can see many times how clients come into you and ask you to um, print something on a and put it up directly on a stretch frame so the image goes on over on each side. If you haven't done this already, or if you're doing it already, uh, you're going to see how easily it's done now in Coral Photo Paint X7. So what we're basically going to do is to um, first go to the image in question, and this is, by the way, an image, an illustration that I've created my own, myself, drawn and painted in Coral Photo Paint, actually. So um, what we do now is to open the um, Pep and Stretch Docker, and we click the the uh, resize image proportionally button and as you can see it's a 300 dpi image you see this value here 189.99 it's basically 190 and what i'm now going to do is to go to the lowest value here and it's recommended to always try to resize the, um, the, the from the lowest value as a reference and because this 189.99 basically is 190, I want to stretch this frame to about, uh, let's say, 5 centimeters, which is basically 50 millimeters. So I'm going to put this up to from 190 to 195. And then you see that it's proportionally changed up here as well. And then click the resize image button. From there, just click copy and um, or right click on the little digit value there and click the trim image and then paste the value in the same uh, width value field and then put the same exact value here 195 click trim and then go over to the stretch image and I said that I want to stretch it the depth to 50 mil millimeters so I'm that's what I'm gonna do but I'm also gonna click the mirror image in all directions so that's the one that I'm gonna choose when that's done I'm gonna click the apply button which says create and apply stretch and it uh, for for the pen it's saying it's going to be combine everything with the background we click OK on this one as well and lean back and look how it's working for us and there it processed and finished. So I'm just going to click the to fit again. And as you can see now, you can see how the image is now stretched and it's mirror. You can see how the how the woman here with the sword, for example, is mirrored. So it's very easily seen. And uh, if we now go to the object manager document, we can see that if we deactivate the original image, which is still intact in its in its size, you can see that the stretch group that we created in Coral Photo Paint is now available here. And then we activate it again, and we can do it like this, and then we see that it's underneath, it's uh, transparent. So it's absolutely wonderful, isn't it? If you want to use help with grids, you can actually activate that and set that up for you as well. And, and it's very easy to do before or after in a way you want it. I hope you like this tip and tricks and that it will help you in your daily work. Have a great day. Bye.